Today we're doing lesson one representing inequality notes. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares two e quantities. There are many values that make an inequality true. And if you look up here, then we have the symbols. You have less than and then less than or equal to. The equal to is because the line is underneath. If you go to greater than, there's your sign, and greater than and equal to, again, the line is underneath. So we're going to go to problem number one, and for each value of x, determine whether the solution for the given inequality. We have to determine if it's true or not. So I know that my x values are 3, 16, and 8, and here is my inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 3 for my x variable. So I'm going to say 21 is greater than or equal to 2 times 3, because I'm getting it from my input value, plus 5. 21 is greater than or equal to 2 times 3 is 6, plus 5. 21 is greater than or equal to 11. That is true. If you look at it on a number line, 21 is greater than or equal to, so I would put yes. My next value is 16. 21 is greater than or equal to 2 times, and I'm going to put my 16 in there, plus 5. 21 is greater than or equal to 32 plus 5. 21 is greater than or equal to 37. If you plot that on a number line, that is not true. 37 is actually larger than 21, so I would put no. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my 8. <clears throat> 21 is greater than or equal to 2 times 8 plus 5. I always go back to this inequality in order to start myself off. So 21 is greater than or equal to 16 plus 5. 21 is greater than or equal to 21. Since I have this equal to, this is true because it can equal the same exact value. So now I'm going to go into number 2 and it says 4x is greater than 36. And my values for x are 15, 7, and 9. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values and see if it is a yes or a no to make the statement true or false. So 4 times 15 is greater than 36. 60 is greater than 36. That is true. I go down and I have my 7. 4 times 7 is greater than 36. That is 28 is greater than 36. That is not true. 36 is actually a greater value, so I would say no. My next value that I'm going to plug in is 9. So 4 times 9 is greater than 36. 4 times 9 is 36. So my inequality is 36 is greater than 36. This is not true because I do not have the greater than symbol. The only way that this would become true is if it said 36 is greater or less or greater than or equal to 36 because of that greater than sign. But I, that is not the case for this one, so it is not true. If you flip it over, we're going to look at some of our phrases and our word problems that tell you what symbol to use. Here we have less than and the frequent words that are used, less than or equal to in the words, greater than and greater than and equal or equal to. So we're going to define the variable and then write an inequality for each situation. We're going to be referring back up to this so it can help us determine what sign we're going to use. So our first one says Lisa wants to spend less than 500 on her flight to Florida for spring break. So I'm going to look and I know that she wants to spend less than $500 on her flight. When I go up here, I'm going to look, where does it say less than? I see that it says less than right here, so I'm going to use that sign. I'm going to indicate that by putting it right above it. My variable is the money spent. And then I'm going to go ahead and write my inequality. I know that it is my money spent needs to be less than $500. I'm going to go to my next one, and it says, Jeffrey wants to run at least 30 miles this week to help him prepare for his cross-country meet. So I know that my keyword is at least, and when I go look, I see um, at least is right here. 
that tells me that I'm going to do greater than or equal to. And I know that they're talking about 30 miles. So my variable is going to be miles. And when I go to write my inequality, I'm going to do my variable. And I've already determined that my sign is greater than or equal to. And I know that I want to do at least 30 miles. So then I go to my next one. Teresa wants to spend no more than $40 on a gift for her friend's birthday. So here I know that we're talking about money again because it's spent too. And it says no more than $40. And when I look at all my words, my keywords up here, I look for no more than. And then I see that right here it says no more than. So that tells me it's going to be less than or equal to. I need to define my variable, which is money spent. And when I go to write my inequality, I know that I'm going to take my variable, which is the money spent, and I don't want to, I want to use it and say no more than. And I've already determined that that symbol is less than or equal to, and I know that my value is $40. The last one, you can have up to 16 people at each lunch table in the HMS cafeteria. And so I know that I'm looking at up to. And when I look at my keywords for up to, I can see it right here. I know I'm gonna do less than or equal to for my symbol. They're talking about 16 people. So my variable that I'm gonna define is people. But I want to know how many people can I have at that lunch table. So I'm going to take my variable, which is P, the amount of people I could have at that lunch table, and I know that I can have less than or equal to 16 people at the table in the cafeteria room. If you guys have any questions, make sure you ask the teacher. Otherwise, always refer to your symbol and always refer to the different phrases to help you determine what symbol to use.